Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the paper Adaptive Peronomolic Model based on Variable Exponent for Image Denoising. Among the noise removal techniques based on anisotropic diffusion equations, the Peronomolic PM equation has stimulated a great deal of interest in image processing community in last decade. Here, this method proposes an adaptive peronomolic method based on variable exponent. Using edge indicator, we roughly segment the image into two subregions, that is, inside regions and the regions nearby boundaries. In addition, by the edge indicator, the diffusion mode is adaptively controlled in the inside region. The new method acts as a heat equation to remove noise. In the regions nearby boundaries, the new method acts as a PM equation to preserve the edges. Because of the controllability of the diffusion mode, the new method can overcome the difficulty of original paranormalic equation and sufficiently preserve small features. So, we mainly concentrate here on the edge indicator. We will be adding a Gaussian noise. The existing system described in this paper or paranormalic and total variation. The proposed method discussed here alpha paranormalic and uh, adaptive paranormalic. Consider a still image and apply Gaussian noise to it and estimate its parameters and calculate the MSE and PSNR quality metrics. The MSE stands for mean squared error and PSNR for peak signal to noise ratio. Now this noisy image is subjected to two different types of denoising. One is alpha PM and adaptive PM. In alpha PM, the edge indicator here described as alpha will roughly detect the features but the edge indicator is modified here as alpha of x and it detects the features satisfying diffusion speed and forward backward diffusion and the detected features must distinguish between the inside regions and the re regions nearby boundaries of an image here alpha of x itself segments the images into two subregions thereby preserving the edges this edge preservation is not concentrated on alpha pm and now apply diffusion equations and then you will be getting a denoised image and calculate the quality metrics such as MSE, PSNR and MAE for both the types of method described here. These parameters that is MSE, PSNR and MAE is calculated for the original image and the denoised image. Now let's have a discussion on the execution of the algorithm. To execute your program, press denoise M file and click run file. Select any one of the images from the given folder. I am selecting image number 5. Add Gaussian noise to it. You can select any one of the noise levels. This is the Gaussian noise and these are the estimated parameters MRC and PSNR. Now the denoising method. First I am selecting PM. <coughs> you can see the results of denoised where the MSE is reduced and PSNR is increased and this is the mean absolute error and this is for adaptive paranormalic you can see the edges are preserved here and you can also see the MSE is still reduced and PSNR is increased and this is the mean absolute error now you can see the graphical analysis this is the mean absolute error plotted for paranormalic equation for all the six images in the data set. This is the MSE and PSNR values plotted for all the six images. And this blue color symbolizes MSE values and green color symbolizes PSNR values for paranormalic equations. Similarly for adaptive paranormalic, these are the mean absolute error for all the six images in the data set. And this is the adaptive paranormalic equation, MSE and PSNR for all the six images in the data set. In this paper, we have used a variable exponent and we have proposed an adaptive paranormalic method for image denoising. In our method, we have used an edge indicator alpha of x, which I explained to you before as a variable exponent to control the diffusion mode. Compared with paranormalic method, the new method will not create new features and uh, compared to total variation method, the new method will avoid staircase effect. Thus, we have experimentally verified the algorithm. To exit your program, you can click here. Thank you.